name is Puneet Nanda. I am a director in Genesis Colors and the designer for Satya Paul. Some I studied only till about 8th grade. So I studied here in Delhi in a school called Mount St. Mary's. And then uh, since then uh, I dropped school and I started working when I was about 12 years old. Time. I was very clear and uh, luckily uh, my dad supported me and uh, he never had an issue. Both of us are lovers of Osho and so we all decided as a family to go to Oregon where Osho was at, uh, and I was 12 years at the time and I stopped schooling at that time and I started working 12 hours a day, 7 days away from then on basically. My father Satya Paul as we all know, he was a very dynamic man. He started from scratch, so he had a very difficult, in that sense, start. He was born in originally in Pakistan. The family moved here during partition, as many people were uprooted. And slowly they started with a little restaurant, you know, and from there moved on to uh, the clothing industry. So in the mid-60s, he decided to experiment into the clothing and uh, opened a place in South Extension. He saw the vision of where the city was going and how things would go and wanted to do something interesting and creative. He started traveling extensively and creating things around the country and learning about the trade. There were no schools, there was no support at the time, so it was a, like a one-man army really. The Sarthi Paul brand was born on the 1st of April 1985, so we've just crossed our 25th milestone. So. By that time, um, I had been working for four years already and I decided to join him. We started the brand and the company together. It was called Paul Salon. We, we clearly identified the company separate from the designer and that's how it was projected. And these are all learnings that he did, you know, in the mid 70s, by the mid 70s, um, Handloom Emporium, what it was called, uh, the store heritage which exists today. It had become fairly successful in the city. It was known for one of the best places in town to go and shop in that time. And he started exports in 1975. And that experience of him traveling the world and selling to those people gave him an understanding of how the textile trade works around the world. Satyapal was not born out of some airy-fairy idea. It was born on a very practical footing, which is that we wanted to produce things which people wear. So a designer doesn't necessarily mean only Western clothes. In those days, in the year 1985, you wouldn't find people wearing Western clothes. Even salwar kameezes were hard to find. A woman who would dress elegantly would wear a sari in the home, in the day. In that milieu, we started producing saris and we were very, very successful at it. When we started the company, I didn't want to be stuck in India, so one of the first things I did is I made a collection. I didn't have any background, so I just basically gave it a whack, whatever little funny ideas that I had. Um, my roots are actually as a photographer and in publishing. So, I had my own sense of looking at things and further from there we were the first designer to have independent solo shows across the country. We used to do five cities at a time starting 1987, we did this for three years in a row and uh, having solo shows in the late 80s, this was a very big pioneering effort, a lot of people were very uh, amazed to see the kind of effort we had done. If you can understand what your customer really wants and able to deliver it, then you are for sure going to be successful. But I don't find the designers of this country are really understanding what the customer really, really wants or needs and at the price that they can afford and deliver it, that is the real stumbling block at some level. As an industry, we need to be recognized to start with so that there is some benefit some interest for people to do more design and to create an atmosphere where design is valued in the industry and in the country. Usually we don't as a country value design as much in the dazed mode what I feel. The economy has just opened up, it's hardly been 10-15 years 
in these 10 15 years for the first time people are tasting richness people are tasting you know a certain sense of the ability to discover new things to be able to spend on things so they are a little dazed whatever is flashy whatever is loud whatever so called shows we go out and spend on very easily this is a phase soon people will realize that there is a certain elegance to things which have value which are produced in a certain way with a certain depth with a certain quality which is far more valuable and not as transient as the flashy and just showy things one was just spontaneously involved thoroughly into the feeling of creation of creating beautiful things once you create beautiful things you don't really consider whether it will become big or not become big or whether it will be liked or not liked your job is just to create and then once the flower blooms the wind carries the fragrance we don't have to do the job so i like to look at it like this that it's really not our or my doing it is simply a happening now when i look back and i think what we had done in those days is quite amazing even for me to think about it uh, i was i feel a bit like uh, oh we did that oh, that's interesting <laughs>